Yeah. Yes. Hello, welcome. Thank you for coming. Yes. I, uh, I, I found that I'm more, um, um, I'm meeting more dwarves recently, like You're as human, that? as, as human incarnations. Some people who are, have clearly dwarf um, uh, behaviors or appearances. And um, and I, I as, a, as a chemist, I am also connected to the idea of alchemistry. So, so these are couple of connections which might connect me to dwarves. And also, I became interested in the idea of uh, uh, business and finances, and um, and that is also possibly a connection. So I wonder if um, if you can share anything about we, that. We. We know that they incarnate sometimes into the human species. Mm -hmm. We know that sometimes they are become scientists because they know about the soil, the leaves, the way things work in nature, and they want to study it even in different ways. Mm -hmm. Finances are different with us. Uh -huh. We do not have a financial system like you do. Mm -hmm. We are not able to have a financial system. Our Money is used for bartering with other species. Mm -hmm. We only have gold as a means of monetary exchange, but that seems to be the most desired exchange. So we find it and store it. So how is... Uh the fair exchange within your community or practical exchange within your community are regulated. What do you mean? Uh, who is taking care of uh, the exchange being profitable and uh, beneficial for the community? It is done by council. We do have more than one thought about how much should be paid for certain mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. So a council will decide. So are you individuals pretty selfish? Selfish. Uh -huh. I do not understand. We work for the land and for uh -huh. its good. We work for you. We are mm -hmm. actually your servants in some ways. Although you do not order us around, we do these things for you. Mm. So tell me more about your space. Are you uh, in subspace, parallel space, somewhere uh, nearby but not visible? You, we are just what you call out of phase with uh -huh. humanity. We have uh -huh. to be to survive and to do our work properly. Mm -hmm. We cannot be seen as we are doing this because some things that we do, people would want to understand it and we cannot explain it. All right. Mm -hmm. So what's your main purpose? Keeping the earth in good, useful shape. Now, there are times when there is a great amount of pollution. Uh -huh. We cannot move around cans and bottles. That is not something that we can do. But we can take what is around them and clear the soil, 
and do things that are necessary that cannot be seen by humans. What's the procedure of clear of, of, of your work? Um, is it physical or is it uh, magic magical? It can be physical. It can be magical. Moving things out of our ways. If no human has seen a tree fallen in the woods, we can move some parts of that tree with magic and movement. <laughs> but if a human has seen it, it must stay as it is. I see, I see. We can think with movement if people have not yet looked upon it. But mm -hmm. Otherwise, it must stay. Right. The other things are work. We take elements out of the ground. We take mm -hmm. and add elements to the ground. Mm -hmm. We also add elements to the water and take elements out of the water. Right. So uh, the oil, uh, mineral, uh, the, the, the natural oil and uh, what is it? Is it um, made, uh, produced from the plants from distant past? Yes. And the fact that we are pulling it out of Earth, does it damage the, the planet? Yes, in some ways, yes. How much of the concern is it? They are doing less of it now than they used to, so we are happy that it is slowing down. Hmm. Now, some places it is not slowing down. In this area, it has slowed down. Toward the northern portions of the world, it is still quite heavily mined. Okay. Um... <clears throat> So, um, what are you, are you living in families? Do you have children? We have no, we are created for this planet and we have no families except all of us are a family together. Right. So, are there beings create of the dwarfs created are they created as small individuals and grow or are you created in a full size we are created in the size that we appear <laughs> what's your population can you share like roughly on the idea for your population there are millions of us across the world uh-huh but there are far more humans than mm -hmm. there are elves and dwarves. Um, are you speaking all the same language? Or are you divided into different kinds? We speak the language of the place where we are, mm. but there is elf language and dwarf language and languages within our own societies. Mm -hmm. We are, but we use more of the language that we feel comfortable with. Mm -hmm. not, not human language. Not usually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in the past, you were more communicating with humans. Are you communicating with us now with some individuals? With some, very few. Mm -hmm. We communicated more when they were kinder to the earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you have any message for us? Do you have any... Um, desires for us? 
we would like you to survive. So uh -huh. we think that you should take some pride in your areas and clean <laughs> them up periodically so that the earth is in a better condition. Right. Specifically about the California, uh, the, the coastal line, the, the beach in San Diego, is there like any process happening here? The ocean, is it healthy? Is the earth healthy? Is the ground healthy? It is somewhat healthy. Mother Earth is struggling at this time and we are trying to help her. And in these volcanic and seismic areas, as you call them, it is more difficult because we see that there is more needed here. Mm -hmm. So, um, when you say your Camille Gold, what do you do with it? What's, what's your exchange? Gold what is you used for exchanging for things that we may need in the soil, other minerals, other things. And so gold is our best way for trading. And what do species or other areas of the our own world. Ah, so different parts of the world trade between each other? Yes. Wow. It is for exchange of energies. We must pay for the minerals we need or they must pay for the minerals they need from us. What do you use for transportation of gold? Magic. Mm -hmm. And what do you use for transportation of um, the minerals? Magic. So is it the teleportation or some other magic? Some other kind. It uh -huh. moves directly to where it needs to go. Right. Uh, when I say you're traded with other species, what kind of species would that be? Sometimes other species have minerals that could be used as well in Earth. And mm -hmm. so they may sometimes ask for a trade. It is rare, but we do happen to do it occasionally. Would it be with dwarfs from other planet or some other aliens? Usually it's a different alien species that can, you can see us because they know how to go out of phase from mm -hmm. their own dimension into ours. Do you communicate with insects and, and insectoid, insectoids? Mm, usually not insectoids, but insects here understand us and are able to move if we need them to. Can you ask my uh, uh, fleas in my, in my house should to leave? I know we would like them to live outside. One moment, they would. They have a source of food, they are wanting to continue with this source of food. It is a dog. Right. Two dogs. Mm -hmm. They like this source of food. Let me speak to them. Thank you. What other source can I offer them? Oh, there are coyotes outside. They're pretty good. There are coyotes, yes. Mm -hmm. 
and rabbits. They will consider. Thank you. Uh, it was very nice to meet you. Uh, do you mind sharing some of your poetry or prayers or blessings? We do pray. We very rarely write. Mm -hmm. But there are prayers from the ancient times that have come to now mm -hmm. that we have always prayed. I can give you one example. Thank you. God, thank you for the light and the water and the, the communication you give to us. Thank you for all that is good and well with the earth. Thank you for everything that you do in every way possible. We give you our hearts and our minds so that you may use us in the way you see fit, so that we may be what you need us to be in this area of the world. Help us to know and understand what is necessary to keep Mother Earth happy and living properly. We give you great glory and honor, for you are our creator and we are your servants. Thank you very much. You're welcome. At this moment, I have to close. It was very nice to speak to you, and thank you for your help. Very well. Good night. Good night. Hello. Hey, Jim. Thank Hi. you. You're welcome. I got to go and have a good day. You too. Take care. All right. Have a good day.